Hi, it's me again with CorelDraw Tips and Tricks. And a while back, I made a video on how to do this evenly. And a viewer subscriber kind of thought it was a silly way to do it. But I've got my reasons for it. But he brought up a good point, and I'm going to show you that. We're going to take this line, and we're going to go and make it a half inch. And then what I'm going to do to do it, because I have, I think I have more control, I'm going to hit P. I'm going to rotate this line 10 degrees and then control D and make a duplicate and mirror it. So I've cut out a section. I'm cutting out this section. Now this is a, a degree and I can change it, control D and move the rotation to the center. And I can rotate it 30 degrees, leaving five degrees between them. And then I can just do this all the way around and they're perfectly spaced. So that's one way when you want to control how many dashes. It doesn't really matter if it, if it doesn't really matter. You can do it without uh, this trick. And I very seldom ever use this, but I am going to start using the Docker. If you go under Windows Docker's properties and if you click on the pen tool which it automatically comes up and then you pick a dash line see i i don't have any control on how many there are and if you look this one is wider let me get a better example um, see one is a little bit different i didn't have the item selected when i clicked on that Okay, if you look, well, that's not a good example either. I'm trying to get one where it shows that the lines aren't. Once again, you got to have your item selected. That must have been the one I had. Okay, here, well, that's even worse. There we go. Well, that's the same one. Sorry about that. I should have done a little better job of getting ready for this. But... If you can see how this one's much longer than that one, and his suggestion, and I, I've used it before, but never really in this case, align the dashes. Now, each dash is the same length and they're the same distance apart. And if you really, really got into this, you could probably find that one that I'm using. Boy, I've never had so much trouble clicking on an item. Um, you can actually probably find one that's closer. There we go. So let's make these both with the ratio lock, make them both 20 inches. And make this one 20 inches. I'm gonna have to unlock the ratio because it wasn't perfectly round to begin with. Well, my dashes are a little closer together. And then let's hit P, put it in the center of the page. And you want an outline and anyway, but anyway, by using his suggestion in the pen tool and this part right here where it's gonna align it, uh, it makes life a little easier with the exception that I can control exactly how many dashes there are. I could have one dash, I could have two dashes. You know, if you, if you get what I mean, we'll just go back to that. Let's draw a circle. Holding down the control button. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Holding down the shift button. Let it grow from the outside. And let's make it that half inch. If I just wanted... Uh, let's, uh, let's rotate this thing 22 and a half degrees. And then control D and make a duplicate. And if I just wanted that line, you know, you can't really do that with the other one. Um, so if you just need that arch or you want to do something with that. Now, this is an outline. In just a word of thought, if you take it and go to object and convert the outline to an object, then you can actually left click, right click, and you could actually use the Smart Fill tool and fill in the different colors. Let's do every other color in red and then change your color to blue and change the other color to blue. That's how good the um, changing it to an object works out. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank